So special cases are those weird cases where you do substitution, you do everything right, and something looks weird. And we're going to talk about those two types of special cases that can happen when you do substitution. So the first one I'm going to talk about is this one right here. So 4x plus 2y equals 8, and y equals negative 2x plus 2 is the system. Go ahead and try to solve it. You totally didn't. You totally didn't try to solve it. I could tell. All right. I'm hoping you pause and try this. If you did, you would say, okay, y is alone on the bottom, so I'm going to substitute the y value into the value above, because I'm looking for the one that's alone. So here's my y. I want to get that alone, so I'm going to write 4x plus 2 parentheses. Uh, equals 8. And what is my y equal? It equals negative 2x plus 2. Okay, so now to simplify this equation, I'm going to distribute. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4x's, and 2 times 2 is 4. That gets rid of the parentheses. Bring down the stuff that was still left in the equation. Now I need to simplify this equation, and by doing that, I go uh, 4x minus 4x is 0 and plus 4, and 0 plus 4 is 4, and 4 equals 8, right? Yes or no? And the answer is a big resounding no. Um, and so that means what's going on here? If 4 doesn't equal 8, that means these two systems don't work. There's no value that you can find for x, and the only reason that would happen, you have three options. You can have two lines intersect, you can have two lines that are parallel, and you can have two lines that are the same line. That's the only three options you have on a coordinate plane. And so when lines intersect, we can have a solution. But when lines don't intersect, then you have no solutions. And so because this doesn't work, because no, this does not work, that's not, not equal, then I can tell you that this system of equations has no solution. It means the two lines are probably going to be parallel and that they'll never cross. So the good news is, as soon as I get one of them, I don't have to try to go back and solve for y. I know I'm done. Special case, no solution. So if your answer doesn't work, no solutions. All right, the next one. Go ahead and try it. Did you? Did you? Okay, hopefully you did this. I look at the two equations. The bottom one, I have y alone. So I'm going to go ahead and substitute y into the equation above. That means I'm taking this equation. And I, wherever I see a y, I'm going to substitute. So I go negative x plus parentheses equals negative 2. I'm substituting the value x minus 2. And I go, OK, uh, there's no coefficient here on the y, so I can get rid of the parentheses just by adding like terms. Negative x plus x is 0. Minus 2 equals negative 2. 0 minus 2 is negative 2, and I get negative 2 equals negative 2. And you go, huh? And I say, okay, does negative 2 equal negative 2? And you're like, uh, yeah. So this is true, right? If it's true, that means that everything that you put in for x will work. That means we have something called infinite solutions. That means everything works. Infinite solutions, you can also put all real numbers. That's the, that's the symbol for real numbers. But basically, it means all real numbers. So to cap, it, to cap everything up, you can have two lines crossing, and you'll have one solution. If the two lines are parallel, then the equation will equal something that doesn't make sense, like 5 equals 3, or 10 equals 0, which is not true, which means no solutions. And if you solve for one of the variables and you get a true statement, like negative 2 equals negative 2, or 20 equals 20, that means infinite solution. I hope this helps you. Go ahead and finish up this activity, and good luck.